Hello, I'm John, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot HTTP 403 errors from API Gateway. Let's get started. The HTTP 403 response from API Gateway means that the client is forbidden from accessing a valid URL. The server understood the request, but can't fulfill the request due to issues from the client side. This differs from the HTTP 5xx response where the issue is on the server side. There are several reasons why your API gateway returns a 403 error. Most of them are because of problems with security credential or permissions that the client lacks. The root cause of the HTTP response might be the caller isn't authorized to access an API that's using IAM authorization. The caller used an API key that's not valid for a method that requires an API key or an authentication token wasn't found in the request. Refer to the Knowledge Center article for the full list of causes. Also consider other causes for the HTTP 403 response. For example, if the error was reported in a web browser, then that error might be caused by an incorrect proxy setting. The proxy server returns a 403 error if HTTP access isn't allowed, or if there is another AWS service in front of the API, such as Amazon CloudFront. Then the service can reject the request with the 403 error and the response. Open up the terminal. We'll be testing our API with the AWS CLI today. You can find the API ID and the resource ID in the API Gateway console in the upper left side above the Actions button. We'll be testing the get method for this video. When we look at the response from the CLI, we see that the error message is user is not authorized to perform API Gateway post on resource because no identity-based policy allows the API gateway post action. Because I'm trying to invoke the API from the terminal with AWS Identity and Access Management Authorization, I must check the policy enable for the IAM user that is my terminal client. Go to the AWS console and search for IAM. Click Users in the navigation panel on the left. Select the user that is trying to invoke the API, in this case, the terminal. Now we want to check if the user has the appropriate permission. I see that the user doesn't have API Gateway Post enabled. We need to add that permission to the user. Click Add Inline Policy. In the search bar, search for API Gateway. Since we are testing a REST API, we need to select the API Gateway, not API Gateway version 2, which are for WebSocket APIs as well as HTTP APIs. Now add the post action to the policy. Next, specify the ARN of the API that you are giving the user permission to invoke. For best practices, you should give least privileged permission to the resources. But for this demonstration, we'll grant all resources for simplicity. Name the policy. I am going to name it Test API Client. Finally, create the policy. After we've added the policy to the user, we should see it in the policy summary. Let's try to invoke our API again. Now we can see that the response is returning the expected behavior with status code 200. For more scenarios and situations, refer to our Knowledge Center article linked in the description below. If you need more assistance, create a support case so that one of our support engineers can take a look at your situation. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. <laughs>